Oh, uh, that's me. I just want to get back to the beginning, yeah. Everybody's just here for the free gifts, right? Yay. Free gifts, Jamie. Oh, we have free, free gifts. gifts. Oh, we you want to set yeah. You gotta get a free gift. There's no bike park here. Right, I know. No <laughs> motorcycle. Ready? All right. Hey, thanks for joining us again. This is the third seminar today. I have to say one big disappointment. We don't have a bike. And we're going to talk about why we don't have a bike in front of us. But, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed the first two. Early this morning at 1030, we went over the new road glide, street glide configurations. Uh, really enjoyed going over that. Once again, please let me know if you have any questions. What we did at noon was special. It, you know, the group effort and what we did going over the soft tail, we got very detailed, very hands-on. I really enjoyed that. And now we're going to cover our 115th anniversary. It's a big deal. Something I didn't mention earlier, too, for those who don't know, now that my grandmother, that's Linda McMahon, everybody, now that she's here, Z&M is going to make 2018 a very big year. This is our 50th anniversary. We don't take that lightly. You're all going to know how we feel about it. So can I get a round of applause? Thank you to my grandfather, to Bun. Thank you. 50 years. 50 years. But, yeah, right? <laughs> But, but today, this is about Harley, and Harley's 115 years old. They got us beat by more than a little bit. Uh, very special. Uh, we've been through some different anniversaries. 95th, very exclusive. It was hard to get your hands on a 1998 motorcycle. 100th anniversary came around, and uh, they wanted everybody to have a piece of the action, and they like that. They like that. We, own, we recognize those 100th anniversary bikes to this day. 105, 110, they kind of stuck with that trend. They made them very available. I'm here to tell you, we've taken a step back in time now because the 115th year anniversary exclusive is not enough to say about these bikes. Most of what we see, and, and if I can get the camera over here, I, I want to talk to you guys now. Just You're more interesting than that light in my eye. But we're going to see here, we have some models. Most of these, not just us, but every dealer in the nation is only going to get one of these. This is no joke. And they're actually on a uh, time schedule. So as we go through here, the Tri-Glide, we already have two Tri-Glide orders on these anniversaries. Um, they're only producing those one per dealer October through December. Then they're going to take a couple months and try to fill more. So we're already hedging bets that we, we're getting another one. And uh, I checked with my district manager. She said I can feel rest assured because we do score well in the categories that matter. Um, but we look at the limited. We're going to get a, a few of these. So a few of the ultra limiteds. And that's it. I mean, that is it. We look at the uh, Street Glide Anniversary. Keep in mind, this is the Chrome Edition now. We need to get over the, the language we've been using on special and regular. When we talk Street Glide, we're talking chromed out bike. Now, this bike's actually going to have a new gloss finish. And I'm going to show you a picture of these different paints. Really cool stuff they have going on. But we're, we're only expecting to get one, maybe two of those. So for those who check this video, literally, if you're serious about having an anniversary bike, it's not something you want to go to sleep on. In fact... Harley will discontinue any, anything after January. They will not be making more of these numbered bikes. Um, I get into the Street Glide Special, a.k.a. the new blacked-out variety we have. It's going to have a denim paint job. It's very asymmetrical. It's super cool. I'm, once again, I'll be showing some pictures. Um, but those, we're going to see those not even start production until around that December, January timeline. We anticipate seeing two or three of those. Keep in mind, that's a bike. We'll sell 70 Street Glide Specials. A year. Two or three of those is what we'll get. Most of the dealers that we, you know, that we can mention are going to see one. Lucky to get two. These things aren't going to be everywhere. Uh, I could go on and on. But definitely, we're only going to get one of the 48s in this color. We're only going to get one of the new Fat Boys in this color. Uh, then, and that one actually is the, uh, the gloss. And then they also have the denim in that, which we'll only get one. And we had to make a choice. I got the 114-inch and the gloss. Um, the Heritage... One, maybe two for us. The breakout, definitely only one, and definitely only one CVO anniversary limited. We do already have a deposit. I would recommend, if anyone has interest, put a second deposit just in case things don't go through. But that is a guarantee from the factory. Those ones I mentioned, we're only getting one. We're only getting one. So spread the word. I mean, literally, people are going to miss out on this opportunity. So that's where we're at. They are beautiful. I can't wait to show them off on the screen here. Uh, for what it's worth, all the pictures you're going to see, we're going to put a carousel together on Facebook. So check us out on Facebook. 
Uh, everything that I go through on screen here, it's going to be available on there. If you want to review, you want to zoom, you want to see it on your phone, save a picture, it will be available. But before we do that, I also want to talk about our CVOs. CVOs, once again, I, I can't tell you enough, while we were out in L.A., Harley pressed the issue of exclusivity. We're only going to see, and we are a huge CVO dealer, we're going to get nine this year. It may not sound like a lot, but I've sold as many as a dozen street glides, or CVO street glides in a year. So these things aren't going to be too commonplace. I um, already have a few uh, CVO street glide orders. Uh, I do have a road glide coming in a couple weeks. That's going to be available. That's in, uh, they did everything kind of dark and nasty on those ones. And then on the limiteds, the paint is out of this world, all three of them. So we have the CVO anniversary limited. Then we're going to have a red one and a black one. They're gnarly. I can't wait to show you the pictures. Um, but we expect to have a couple of each of those available at this point. So if you know anyone of interest, seriously, they, they do want to get something lined up. I know we're going to sell out. I know other dealers will. It's the kind of thing some of the dealers, hopefully they watch this video, they will be guilty. They're going to sell them on eBay for five grand over sticker. It's the truth. It's where we're at right now. So with that in mind, I'm going to go through our slideshow. But before that, any questions about any of the uh, anniversary stuff? CVOs? Cool. We'll cover it through the pictures. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Totally and, and to that degree, they actually only made one anniversary CVO. It is the limited. So the other ones, you know, these aren't CVOs. This is, uh, you know, they're pretty special bikes, you know, but they're an anniversary edition. And then we do have the one that shares CVO and anniversary, uh, you know, and that's, that's kind of cool. They made exactly one for every dealership in the world. I really respect how they handled that. Uh, it's it's going to be something. Uh, I know who has one on order here. I'm not going to say names online, you know. But, uh, you know, literally just in case something were to happen, I'd recommend people get out there and get these things on order. Definitely a big deal. Uh, 115, once again, we're going to be uh, celebrating with clothing. We will have different ones coming through. It is limited edition. What we have right now doesn't have any kind of Z&M badging. All right? We will have some of that coming through shortly. Uh, but once again, like anything, they aren't going to be having – what you see on the shelf isn't going to be there all year. We're going to have a portion – Another portion, another portion. Definitely some cool stuff. I can, uh, I can raise my hand to God and tell you I bought a couple last night. You know, there's some good-looking stuff there. Might want to throw some of that in with your pictures here. Um, definitely some cool button-down shirts. So uh, with that, I'm going to go to our, uh, to our digital board here. What we're seeing first is that one. And I hate showing you what we can't have, but once again, I, I wish I had some bikes in front of us like we did the last couple seminars. This is that CVO Limited. It is the only anniversary of that grouping. We can see, and you're going to see this on a lot of the CVOs. Um, notice the attention to stitching and detail. Some of the details, we did have one CVO street glide come through. I've never seen these guys do such a cool job. The little accent, you know, they're really up in their game. Uh, we can see that here with the paint to match. Just gorgeous. Some of the badging this year, striping. It's going to knock your socks off. There it is in uh, all its glory. Wish I could zoom in. Super cool, super cool. Something about the CVOs to know. Uh, we're going to run one additional amp in our uh, CVO limiteds. Okay, so that thing's going to put out about 300 watts. Our Road Glide, which I can't wait to show you a couple of the cool features of that, but it's going to run two amps and four speakers, and that's going to give us 600 watts. Then our CVO Street Glide, that thing they throw three amps in. It's 900 watts. That is pushing four, or, you know, basically eight speakers in total. It's crazy. I had a 2015. That thing hit so hard. I can't wait to hear this thing. Like, you know, I need someone I know because I'm not going to turn the volume up out loud. It is nuts. My friends used to complain about listening to my radio going down the road, you know. So here we are. Now we get into some of these. This bike, I will not even get one. I told you, limited is the word. I'm getting a gloss one. I have some friends at dealerships. If somebody wanted this, I might be able to give them a gloss for that. But I'm going to get to do this about one time. So if, you're, if you see something and, and you fall in love, especially on video, definitely you need to speak up. You need to raise your hand immediately. We are going to miss these. I won't even have one of these, but you can see how cool they did with the denim. It's not your traditional badging. Style team did a great job there. Here we get into the heritage. 
I fell in love with this motorcycle. So cool. Uh, we talked about it back in the Softail series. You know, they went back to 1949 knucklehead kind of design. That is your Hydro Glide style front end, gloss black motor. Absolutely love it. I think uh, that's going to be a huge hit among people. LED is just so tough. Here's our Tri Glide. As I mentioned, as we stand, I have two deposits in place. Uh, my estimates are that I should have at least one more additional. It's just an educated guess. Um, so, once again, if that's a bike of your dreams, you need to know about it now. Um, super cool look, though. Here we go with the Limited. At this point, I have a couple of these available. This is one of our top selling bikes. So, what I say today, we all know that can change in a week, but definitely, this is uh, an iconic touring model here. This, once again, we're going to call this the Street Glide, but there's no shortage of anything going on. You know, just like we've known in the, in the special in the past, ABS, 6.5 boombox, security system, they will be in place on this motorcycle. So even though I call it a standard, it's far from that. This is not a basic line motorcycle. This is an anniversary street glide. And as we get here, we're going to see what they mean by special extended bags, custom wheels, high output speakers, blacked out motor, black attention everywhere. Away from lights to struts to console, you name it. That bike is so cool. I like how, you know, once again, their attention to detail this year was, I mean, the, the, the best company in the world got better. So we got to love that. Hey, for those who just joined us, get a free gift at the end of this. Don't forget to get your scratch-off card, guys. So, you know. Here's our breakout. Once again, we can see they stayed tough. They stayed rough. They took that 3.5-gallon fuel cell, gave it. I, I took a picture of this and actually sent it to my sales guys. They lost their mind on how cool this thing is. Uh, this picture isn't going to show it off quite as well. The top view really sets it off. Here's our 48. Once again, these bikes, I'm only getting one. That's it. I am fair. I will be MSRP, and there will be people who want more because there is only one. The way for us fair people to sell out of them. <laughs> you know, you got to know that. They're going to pay a premium. Now we enter into our CVOs. This is the Road Glide. Awesome. 117 inch motor. New introduction to our lineup. They stayed precision cooled. That's the oil cooling system. Check this out. This is the first touring bike we ever had a 21 inch front end on. And I said front end, not front wheel because they've dynamically tuned the entire suspension. They feel this is the only safe way to equip this on a motorcycle. Great stuff going on in our shocks. When you see this in person, it makes a very dynamic look and you can expect top notch first class handling. That's something that many of the custom bikes out there, they look good. <laughs> I ride hard, I, I'm scared to death of those bikes. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. That stuff, uh, it's all for show. This is for show and you'll get your go. Um, the paint jobs that they gave us, wonderful. You're going to see this through not only the road glide, but the street glide. Notice the color touches here. You're going to see it in the rims on the street glide here in a moment. Um, once again, I could talk about the stitching. This thing was so super cool. Um, they were very excited about it from Harley-Davidson. They felt they did a paint. This is a breakthrough process. This type of pearl and ember that they used that uh, has never been touched by a manufacturer. The thing should actually look like it's glowing all the time so uh, i hope to have one here in the showroom where we get to show it off you'll see them out on the street somebody will be lucky enough to have it not all of us get the forty thousand dollar bike but uh kudos to those who do you know this thing is awesome uh one of my favorite things that they got into and this is upgradable on some of our other limiteds and everything uh, had anybody seen about the uh the bluetooth on this anybody see this we now actually have wireless true wireless bluetooth headsets so a lot of us weren't using our onboard communication. You know, the touch screen. Some people never even learn their radios the right way. You know, they got the Rushmore and they, they guess through it, use it like the old radio. It had all the features. All along, you've had this function that you just, you know, you push to talk. You tell the thing what to do, and it would do it. So few of us were plugging in and using that option. They beat us to the punch, so they went wireless. So this thing now will go Bluetooth, syncing your phone to radio to the hand controls. I tell it to do something, it's going to do it. Find this song, it's going to get it for you. Navigate me there, you can do it safely. You don't have to be pushing buttons. Y you know what I mean? Great, great option. I love it. I think everybody should have it. I can't wait until the motor company does it across the board. That technology deserves it. Isn't you know? Isn't that a little unit for like $500 or something? He's absolutely spot on. 
You're spot on. That's if we want to do that with our standard lineup. Okay, it is standard on the CBO. So they're always going to kind of give us, you know, all the gingerbread on our, on our premier units. So that is standard here that it's going to give you that. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. I mean, all the little perks they do with CBO. You know, I, I sometimes get so caught up in what's new, I forget to brag about what they've done. Garage door openers built right into your headlight, right? No doubt, right? You know, I mean, the heated equipment is, you know, world class. This thing just, it's going to give it all to you that, you know, the keyless remotes, and they're now, you know, just downsized. They got it all. Security's there. You flip a switch. It's like a switchblade. Your key comes out. But the funny thing is you never even need your key because you hit a button and it locks everything. Forks, tour packs, saddlebags, all locked. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's the stuff you get with CBO. So, you know, uh, when we have one on the show showroom, I'd love to, maybe I need to do another video whenever we have one so you guys can see what all these things can do. And I'm going to move on because we do have some to cover. Like I said, this denim is so tough looking. You can see how it brings over onto the fairing. They kept it real subtle here. Not, not your traditional paint jobs. You know, the, the asymmetry that, you know, I have friends that do this and it's all been in the backyard. <laughs> you know what I mean? The motor company is doing it, you know? So once again, can't stress, went over it in our first seminar. Me and Jim Fox were there for it. <laughs> um, anyhow, but you know, what they did on this, it, you know, the foot peg mounts, you know, up here, the mirrors on the bikes that we're getting on the specials, like the Road Glide, their, their attention to detail, it is right. I've done this three times in my life, blacking a motorcycle out. It is so expensive. I sometimes feel like a moron, you know. I've, I've done it both ways. When Harley didn't sell it, I was dipping mine in acid, paying a guy $700 to dip my products in acid so I could go get it painted and hope it holds up, right? Now you get it right out of the box, and they did everything. You know, for those who were trying to do it and couldn't find the foot peg mounts, couldn't find the items, the turn signals didn't fit. They fit, they're right, they're factory, they're warrantied. You know what I mean? They don't warranty what I did over at the uh, chrome shop, you know? So. Here's another CVO. Uh, you're going to see this theme. They definitely stayed tough. You're going to get some denim accent and gloss. That too, that's something I never thought that motor company would do. It's a very tough edge to control. I've worked with painters who do this. You know, gloss sometimes wants to walk into flat. Flat wants to walk into gloss. They don't dry well together. <laughs> you know what I mean? They pulled off some cool stuff. You're going to love seeing these in person. Um, down here, they didn't get a good picture of this. All right, I'm back up a little bit. Um, there are. There's accents in the wheels and everything to show you, you know, how what's going on with these guys. This is the guy with all that sound I mentioned. You know, it, it, just absurd. Whenever they first came out, and this, this is a better system. This has more speakers. But whenever they first came out with all this boom box, we're out there. I don't even remember where we were. I think it was maybe Tennessee. No, it was Colorado in 2014. They broadcast a seminar for thousands and thousands. I mean, all the dealers in the world are there. You know, we're in this giant stadium. And they broadcast everything through three CBO street glides. There were no amps and speakers on the stage. It was nuts. They didn't even tell us till mid-show, and nobody missed a beat. That's how powerful this stuff is. You know, when you put your jams in, it is nuts. So, you know, this, and this is better than what we experienced then. So we're going to like that. More good looks. The logo really stuck out to me. This is the one uh, model that we got here. Once again, you're going to see shared components, you know, with the denim and the gloss. The logo, super cool. Had, like, the matching orange accent underneath. Just super cool, super cool when you see these things. Here we get back into another uh, anniversary model. So this is once again what we're going to call a street glide, but it's fully loaded. It's what we always knew as a special, special change form is what happened here. Another CVO here. Uh, this is what they call the gunship gray. Once again, super cool. Rims even were painted to match the paint. I told you, they're making some aggressive moves. I'm proud of this company. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's... I, I, yeah, that, that was, I, I'm going be honest, that wasn't my favorite. But there were many in the crowd that lost their mind when they saw it. It was by far their favorite. And that's, that's the beauty of this. You know, they're, they're yeah, I mean, it, they don't want to build one bike for all of us, right? They're saying it with their touring. They're saying it with what they do with soft tails. They want to make sure we all get exactly what we want. Once again, I love this thing. This, yeah, I mean, we always think CVO Limited, and you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that old man bike over there. That's hardly that. That, that old man will beat up the other old man, you know. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, 
No, it is. I'm going to give you the exact color. I got to tell you what it is. Whenever you see it in person, have you ever seen something that has like a magnesium finish? It, it'll it'll have that reminiscence. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it is nuts. It, it has such a cool cool look. They call it a black earth fade. Like I say, it's tough to describe. Hey, if you guys want to know about it, let anybody who works here know. Get your number when it when it arrives, even if it comes in already sold. I want everybody to see these. They don't hang out. They don't last long. Make sure our staff is informed. If you're interested at home, too, I mean, literally, let us know. You know, it's not pressure. It's, hey, you want to see it? Let us know. We'll call you whenever it comes in. Legitimately, I have a list here. If anybody wants something caught your eye, you want to see about it. Because like I said, this stuff isn't going to be out there in multitude. You know, even if you aren't buying it, it's still cool to appreciate what Harley's doing right now. This is not a CVO. It too was a crowd pleaser. They made 200 of this paint job. That's it. How bad is that bike, right? Oh my God, 225, thank you, that's right. 225, um, awesome, so awesome. I mean, that bike has so much character. Get out, you know? Here we could see up close, we took, by the way, these are all photos we took while we were out the show. Some by uh, Bruce Minnick, some me, some Jason Rivardo. You know, we, uh, we wanted to have some good coverage, and that's why we want to have this slide show. Uh, Jason, maybe we can even add some other ones onto the carousel. I, I think it's worth seeing, you know. It's, we try to be the eyes and ears for everybody to catch us, you know. But just so cool how clean their lines were. All this accent is going to match. It, it's, you know, look down here. I told you about some orange accent to bring it through with the denim. It, so cool. Another great color. Here we are. This is actually equipped, so this is that, that wireless Bluetooth I mentioned earlier. I didn't realize we had a picture. Pretty cool, huh? No wires. Rechargeable. Keep that thing charged up. How, right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm so proud of those guys. And uh, I do know this is the last one on, on, uh, on our reel here. This, guys, this is about everything we're doing every day. We love MDA. We love the families of MDA. And most importantly, we love the kids of MDA. Thank you guys for getting involved and showing the love for MDA. Anybody like the look of that? Anybody raise a hand? Anybody join us tomorrow? Reason to ride? Hey, we put a lot of miles on. We visit a lot of restaurants. We're taking all those dollars. We're giving it all to MDA. You know we care. That's not ZNN. That's, that's the ZNM environment. That's the, the family that we are together. We've done amazing things. MDA Ride for Life is coming to Seven Springs because of our customers. They love you guys. I mean, what we've done is so special. I'd end it with that. So thank you. Thank you, everyone, helping us out with that. All right? Any questions? All right, then I'll take the clapping. <laughs> On the CVOs, the badging, it is raised. It is raised. Yes, it is an emblem. And, and like I said, it's super cool 3D. It's kind of thicker than you're used to. Um, it, you'll, you'll dig it. I'll just say it that way. And like that anniversary limited, that thing is like, it's bronzed over. It just, I, literally, I, I, I can't stress. You need to see these things. I wish that we had so many. This whole thing's about what's exclusive. You know, I'm getting nine CVOs in total, guys. That's it. You know, I tell you these, you know, these anniversary bikes, we're getting onesies, twosies. You know, we're a big dealership. You know, there, there's some dealers going to see three CBOs this year, guys. You know what I mean? This is, uh, yeah, they're, they're bringing it home. Great question. At this point, it would depend on what you ordered. You know, so right now I feel confident, you know, I'm going to have two, three road glides available as we stand uh, for, for this thing today, September uh, 9th. Um, I'm saying that. Yeah, so, you know, I'm thinking two, three road glides, thinking maybe one street glide more, you know, probably two more limiteds. That's it. You know, the anniversary limited already spoken for. It's good to have stand-ins. You know, I already had a guy that uh, ordered a 2018 CVO street glide, fell in love with a 17 we were able to get him here, you know, a trade-in. And so he's off the list. So uh, things change, too. You know, you know what I mean? I'm saying it as of September 9th. But at this point... 
I have one get down the road, three orders. Come and get them. It's five. You know, you see what I mean? There's five left. It's not, you know, it's not like this. It's not a, it's not a me too bike, right? Anybody hear that? <laughs> yeah. I got a street guard. Yeah, me too. Well, you, you know, Jim, I, I wouldn't mind showing you this. And, and for time's sake, I'm not going to hold everyone up. But, like, I've ordered through December already, and I actually had that here. Um, when you look at it, it it's, it's a kind of a scarce playing field. I mean, they're, they're all about getting allocation right. Now, the anniversaries, they're premeditated. So, so we're looking there. There's some bikes. I don't care who you are. You, we're a pretty big deal. I keep saying that, right? But we aren't as big as those boys in Daytona, and we know who they are. Guess how many 48s they're getting in anniversary? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, guess how many CVO anniversary limiteds they're getting? One. This isn't, it, it's not, you, you know, they are doing this intentionally to be that exclusive. So, you know, whenever I say I'm only getting one, it, that's, I can't be more expressive than that. That's it. One forty-eight. Now, hey, could that hang out a little bit for us to enjoy? And guys, um, we're gonna have some free gifts at the end, and we're we're nearing the end, so you got lucky. You didn't have to listen to the rest of me, you know. <laughs> the uh, anyhow, you know, I, I don't sell as many 48s as I do street guards, right? I don't sell as many breakouts as I do street guards. Will you see one hanging out here? I hope so. I want to show them off. But when it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that. So I expect as they, you know, most of these their production time period November, December, January. Yeah, I don't have as many buyers, but they won't be refilled. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know what? I, I covered that a little bit earlier. Um, and, and, Jason, if you'd want to get a close-up, I wish this was on screen. So they, they have a matrix here of what's going on. So if we can see the shaded orange, you can just get the basic idea. That's when the production is guaranteed. Guaranteed production in the shaded orange per model. And in each one of those models, what we're really looking at is one per dealer, period. Now, what we see in the yellow highlighted areas, this is the extended. This is where they're going to produce for us extra units as they can. And they're going to be selective about who gets them. Who gets them? Dealers that score well in Barn Shield. Dealers that sell a lot of motorcycles. That's why I was saying, we're going to get some extra. <laughs> you know, I don't want to say too much on that, but... I have. I've discussed it with the motor company, everything. We are going to get extra. But they don't have a whole lot to give. You've got to be thankful when we get that one extra. If we can get two extra, we've got to, oh, my God, thank you. you know? and, and once again, that all stems back to our customers. You know, when you guys answer our CXI, when you're, when you're saying about the great experiences you have at ZNM, when, you're, you know, when, when we continue to thrive the way we do, I mean, we've got, we got a booming motorcycle culture around here, you know, that speaks to the motor company. They know we got the ridership. They're, they're going to feed the bikes to where the riders are, and out of that, they're going to feed them to where the happy riders are. Thank you, guys. Once again, I'll talk MDL. I'll thank you for that because we look pretty good on paper, and that's why, you know. So, you know. Any other questions offhand? All right. I'm going to go back to the last seminar. Tell you, go demo these bikes. They're amazing. These touring bikes we're talking about, that is motorcycle of the year. Throw in your sport bikes. Throw in your... I won't name the other manufacturers. We know who they are. Throw them all in there. They lost. Harley Davidson has the best touring bikes. And what we have going on with our soft tails is no shortage of excitement. You know, they are so authentic of a good motorcycle ride. It's, it's unreal. So, all right. Let me get you some free stuff here, guys. So, thank you.